embargoes. In this video, I'm going to talk about what they are, how they are affecting the tech community and why are they ruining it. So stay tuned. Before I begin, let me apologize right in front. If there is a constantly interrupting noise in the background, that's my neighbor already talking for more than two hours on a phone call. I tried everything to get rid of her, but she just doesn't want to give up. If you know any tricks, let me know in the comment section below. Now with that said, let's begin with the definition of embargo. Embargo in easy words means restriction. That means prohibiting or restricting someone to do something for a specific amount of time. Like for example, usually this embargo terms comes in between the countries and trade. So if USA has an embargo with UK in terms of trade, that means that the UK will not be able to do any trade with USA until a specific amount of time has passed can be months, can be days and can be years as well. But that term has been taken up by these tech companies who manufacture these phones and has been implemented it now in sort of contracts with every tech creator. Now the bigger question is what exactly is this term doing in tech community? In easy words, when a phone manufacturer creates a device, it wants it to be sold as positive as possible. So basically, it's going to send these review units to all the big content creators so that they can spend their amount of time in reviewing and testing this device and then make their full review videos and then point out the things they liked as well as they didn't like. But most of the companies often try to minimize this effect on their sales, which is the reason why they put the first embargo at the day that the phone officially launches. So no information is allowed to be leaked before that, even though these content creators already have the phone and they're using it. Now, this embargo is often in a form of an agreement that you have to probably sign or reply through an email, but it's more like a bond that you cannot break. Now, if in case you do decide to break this contract, there might be certain negative things to it. You might get fined or the company might even blacklist you from future contacts. So usually these content creators stick to it and they obey it and they only post reviews right at the point when their embargo ends. Which is one of the reasons why mostly one specific phone pops up on YouTube right at the same time from all the different creators because that is the point that embargo ends. Now the second big question that comes here is what exactly is this embargo doing and how much is it influencing the people? Like for example, let's take an example of Pixel 6 as of now. Google implemented dual embargoes, which means there are two restrictions, two phase restrictions. First phase is that what already has passed. So now the creators were able to unbox the phone as well as talk about the aesthetics of it. Now, if you know that a phone usually consists of three things, one is the aesthetics or the exterior. Second is the hardware that's inside the phone and third is the software and all of these three things combines to make a phone. Now after the first embargo which already had stopped all these content creators to talk about the device at all, they were able to show and showcase the exterior of a device on camera which is the reason why you could now see Pixel 6 unboxing as well as the initial impressions from some creators. But the second embargo means that you would not be able to speak about the hardware as well as the software of the phone. Now with all this, it creates a false sort of graph in terms of any phone in the market because every creator is only allowed to talk about the aesthetics of the device. Now officially Pixel 6 for example is already having nice hardware and even the chip from Google that is Tensor chip is the first time that they have ever launched. Now, on the paper itself, they might be claiming in the launch event as well that it's going to improve the efficiency as well as the amount of processing that these AIs were doing before because now it's more compatible. But how much of that is going to be true, we have no idea. Even after the first embargo of such phone, we barely know about anything. Like what kind of software it is, like how these software are running and integrated and how the camera is, we have no idea. Now those initial videos cannot really do anything about a device because they don't really have any information that they can share with people that can help them know if the device is really good or not. Take for example these cameras of iPhone 12 when they came out, if there was an embargo fixed that you can talk about everything about the phone but the camera, how many people would have thought about that there's something gonna be wrong? And just because Google has placed two different embargoes, it's gonna affect all the people in such a way that all those pre-orders that has happened, when these people will start to see full reviews or they will get the devices themselves, their opinion might change depending upon how the experience of the user is when they're sharing the hardware and the software part of this entire phone. 
because a phone comprises of three things as I said before and if you exclude one you cannot really say if a phone is good or not. So if these big creators already know that while signing this embargo their review will be restricted to provide only a specific thing that the company wants, why do they even do it? Well it's easy because even if you are not signing the embargo you will still get the device but the time that this device will be sent to you as a review unit would be the same time as people will be getting it. Now you as a content creator can decline it but all the other hundreds of content creators that are out there and have been approached with this will obviously take this chance as taking the device because the moment they are pushing the video of initial impressions that would be the only video present on the YouTube and that will gain them a lot of views. So basically even if 99% of content creators decline it to accept this embargo and force the companies to change it, there would be always 1% of the creator who would think that they can utilize that and use that embargo to feature exclusive content on their channel which will help them grow as well as get them a lot of views. The worst part of these embargoes has not even come yet. The way that this is actually going, in the future it seems very prominent that these companies would actually put 5 to 6 different kind of embargoes only for one device. For example, they just send this device to a YouTube content creator and the way that this would be implemented is, day one, you would not be able to speak about the device at all. Day two, besides showing the box, you would not even be able to show anything else. Day three, you are only supposed to unbox and say nothing. And then day four, you are only allowed to show the home screen of the phone and nothing else. Day five, you are allowed to speak about everything but the camera. And then day six, everything of the phone you are willing to say. By that time that you'll be following this embargo and making all the final video, people would have already bought it and now no matter how bad this camera would be they cannot go back send this device and get their money back because the way this looks like just like taxes every year this embargo is also gonna be increasing well this was my thoughts about embargo i just thought of making a video because it's all over the social media right now and i thought about putting a small video so that a lot of people who does not really know what embargo is and why exactly is this happening and what is the change that it's doing can know something about it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like and let me know in the comment section below what you actually think of this. And if in case you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be catching you guys next week with another video. Until then, take care.